Greetings, my drinking buddies. Today we're talking about whiskey and more specifically, what five bottles are all you need according to Reddit? I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> all right, drinking buddies. So according to Reddit, you only need five bottles of whiskey. As you can see, I have a few more than five, but we're gonna narrow it down to exactly five bottles. And we're gonna do so by explaining what are the five bottles we need, why I picked them, and uh, maybe recommend some to you. So first up is a daily sipper. And what do we mean by a daily sipper? I don't personally drink every day, but if I were to, um, you know, I would feel financially responsible buying something around this price point if I'm gonna drink it every day, and it is delicious. Um, I'm going with Jim Beam Black. Uh, this is an excellent budget bourbon. Um, it's usually about $20, and it is fantastic. I, we did, we've done blinds in my house with uh, some friends where we compared it to whiskeys that cost over $50, unanimously chosen by me and my friends, um, blind. It's, it's an excellent bourbon, budget, wonderful flavor, um, and it's got a really nice, smooth finish. Highly recommend if you haven't had it in a long time, I think you'd give it another chance. And then for another daily sipper, just as an honorable mention, I'm gonna go ahead and mention Old Forester 86. Ironically, they're the exact same proof, 86, but uh, this guy's about 17 bucks and it's really solid um, for its price. Um, got a lot of really good flavor to it. And yeah, so honorable mention, Old Forester. So next up is gonna be a mixer. So when I'm mixing, there's only one go-to for me and that's Larceny. It's got a smooth, sweet, wonderful flavor and it complements your cocktails well. Now, when you're making cocktails, there are a lot of bourbons out there that'll overpower the cocktail and, you know, in some cases ruin it. Um, and that is not Larceny. Larceny is a wonderful mixer. It stands up to being mixed. I love it in my old fashions, in my Manhattans, in my final wards. Um, whatever I'm mixing, my go-to is Larceny. Honorable mention for that category. Oh, and Larceny sells for about 20 to $23. Uh, honorable mention for that category is going to be Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. Um, and this is a $15 bottle, four years aged. And just to clarify for those of you who don't know, Bottled and Bond means, uh, you know, back in the day there used to be a lot of charlatans out there who would put 20 years old on their bottle and it wasn't actually true. So one of the ways they decided to combat this is they made government warehouses where you could age your product and the government agents there would monitor it and make sure it's as old as you claim on the bottle. And so uh, this is four years old, and we know it's four years old because it was bottled and aged under government supervision. That's what bottled and bond means. And uh, you know, regular Evan Williams is okay, uh, but this uh, four year aged Evan Williams bottled and bond, I really like, it's very nice for mixing. All right, so next up we have something that we might enjoy on a Friday night. So this is something a little bit more special, maybe a little bit more elevated. This is a, you know, once a week, a uh, couple times a month type bourbon or scotch or whatever it might be. But for me, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Angel's Envy for this one. I really like Angel's Envy. It's got a wonderful um, port finish on it from, the, from being finished in port bottles. It's got a, a, a sweet taste. Um, you know, there, there's a little bit of that, that wine coming through on the end. Uh, some people make fun of it saying it tastes like circus peanuts. I don't get that. I don't taste that flavor profile at all. Um, really like Angel's Envy. And for an honorable mention for this category, I'm going to go with Amador. Amador. This is another finished whiskey. This is finished in Chardonnay, Chardonnay casks. And actually, depending upon which day you ask me, I might like one or the other better. I really like them both, but give, gonna give the nod to Angel's Envy. All right, so next up, we have something that we might break out for company. Now, uh, you know, in the article it says something to impress guests. You know, I'm not here to impress anyone, but I might be here to, you know, help convince someone who's not a whiskey drinker how great whiskey can be. And to do so, I'm gonna go with Glen Love at 12. Uh, this would be what I would break out for guests uh, if, I, if they were interested in trying some whiskey, because this is a wonderful, wonderful scotch. It doesn't have a lot of that 
peaty funk that you get from some of the scotches. Uh, it, it's finished in bourbon barrels, so it could be an approachable scotch for someone who doesn't normally drink scotch, but prefers bourbon. Um, and yeah, double oaked, finished in, in American casks. And I highly recommend this one. Um, it sells for around $40. Oh, and the Angel's Envy is about 50. And I put it up here backwards, so we'll just fix that. Uh, so Glen Levitt 12, about 40 bucks. All right. And last but not least, we have our special occasion whiskey. Now this is gonna be something that we're gonna break out for birthdays or maybe Christmas or something like that. Something that you're only gonna drink a couple times a year. And for me, it's gotta be Booker's um, because, you know, I know that people are upset that the price keeps going up on this particular product, but the way I look at it is this bottle sells for under $100 and if I were to order eight to 10 mid-shelf whiskeys at a bar, which is not really something you can do right now anyway, but if it were a normal year, you'd spend about eight to $10 for a, uh, you know, for like a mid-tier budget bourbon at a bar. Well, a pour of this is about eight bucks. So I can't really look at it as being so expensive when it's something that A, I'm only gonna drink on special occasions, and B, it's not any more expensive than getting a cheap bourbon at a bar. So for me, Booker's wins. It's got a very high, um, it's got a very high proof. It drinks like syrup. It's that syrupy texture. Um, you know, the burn isn't really high on it considering it's over 120 proof. Booker's is my go-to special occasion bourbon or whiskey. So those have been my five, and I'm thinking. I need to challenge another channel on this because I got this idea from a few of the whiskey channels on YouTube and they challenged each other to, to make their lists. So I'm looking at you, Whiskey nice Nightcaps. I'd really like to see your list and uh, uh, you know post it on your channel. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Whiskey Nightcaps, if you are a whiskey drinker, definitely check out his channel. He's got wonderful content um, and uh, he's a really nice guy. We've messaged a little bit um, on social media and uh, yeah, really nice guy, uh, knows his stuff. He's, he's got a much more refined palate than I do for tasting whiskeys and uh, his channel is excellent. So hopefully we'll see his content uh, for his list soon. Um, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate the views. Uh, you know, most of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe bell. I mostly do cocktail videos, but I'd also do a lot of reviews of whiskeys on my shorts. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.